Lando Norris blamed Pirelli's tyres for the chaotic finish to the Australian Grand Prix as drivers struggled for grip in Melbourne. Pirelli has gone aggressive with its tyre choices for upcoming races after the F1 manufacturer was called out by Lando Norris for being pretty terrible and not worthy of being at the top of motorsport. McLaren's Norris blamed the lack of grip in Pirelli's tyres for the chaos that ensued in the closing stages of the chaotic Australian Grand Prix. Multiple drivers struggled for grip amid a slew of accidents following the various restarts in Melbourne. And the Italian tyre maker is now under the spotlight after Norris said that he struggled to comprehend quite how bad the grip is on the soft tyres. Pirelli have now opted to bring in the softest C5 tyre for round 4 of the season in Baku at the end of the month and for Amola in round 6 in May. The C3, C4 and C5 compounds are the softest range of tyres made available to F1 drivers and will be used for the first time in 2023 on the street circuit in Azerbaijan. High track temperatures in Baku are expected to lead to thermal degradation, and tyre wear is also likely to be a factor at Imola. The grid for the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix will also be determined by a new qualifying format that will see just one Pirelli compound used in each session in a trial which hopes to reduce the amount of tyres brought to each race weekend. Meanwhile, the Miami Grand Prix will have the same C4, C3, and C2 tyre allocation that was so heavily criticised by Norris after his sixth-placed finish in Australia. Norris capitalised on the carnage to finish well inside the points following a restart that included collisions between Carlos Sainz and Fernando Alonso, Logan Sargent and Nike de Vries and the two Alpine drivers Pierre Gasly and Esteban Ocon. But Norris claimed the lack of grip on the new Pirelli tyres are causing serious problems for drivers. It's not a bad temperature but the tyre doesn't work and, on this surface, with this track temperature, I can't describe how bad the grip is, he said after the Australian GP. That's why you see everyone going straight on at turn one and locking up but it's 65 degrees on the soft tyre, and it provides literally no grip. So, you have to brake early which causes chaos and causes incidents. If the tyres felt like they gave us some grip, we'd be able to see a good race without chaos and some clumsiness and things like that, but it's just difficult. I wouldn't say it's just clumsy from everyone, it's just you're racing and there's no grip, it's simple as that. So, we need a tyre which gives us some more grip and actually a tyre that feels like it should be on a Formula 1 car at the top of motorsport. And at the minute, on a day like today, it feels pretty terrible.